Welcome to the Microsoft Translator Hub video on Project and Community Management. In this video, you'll learn how to create a new project and invite new users. Let's take a look at how to create a new project. In the upper right-hand corner of the page, click on the Projects tab and then select Create Project. You'll notice that several of the fields here are required. First, give your project a unique, meaningful name. It is not necessary to mention the languages within the title, though you may find that useful. If you wish, write a description as to what the project covers, or add any notes you want to associate with the project. This is particularly useful if there are multiple project owners. Then select the source and target languages. The source language is the language you're translating from, and the target language is the language you're translating to. Together, these are referred to as a language pair. Finally, you may select the category from the Category List drop-down to further classify your project and distinguish it from other projects that have the same language pair. This enables you to make a domain-specific translation system that is more targeted and accurate within a particular domain. In the Category Descriptor box, you can add any additional information to further refine the category. For instance, if you select Medicine, you might want to add a particular topic such as Toxicology or Pediatrics. If you selected Sports, you might want to add Tennis or Soccer. Once you're satisfied with the information, click the Create Project button. Once the project is successfully created, you will be given the option to either add users or set up training. The training process will be covered in a separate video, so let's focus on adding users to the project. On the Invite Member page, fill in the forms for name and email addresses. Select the role for this invitation, co-owner or reviewer. Co-owner is a manager role that helps guide the project. A reviewer reviews and suggests better translation for your translation system. Both of these roles are trusted relationships. An additional role which is not specified is your community members, who are only allowed to provide feedback but cannot define new projects or start a training session. A default mail is generated depending on the role you have selected for these individuals. The message body on the invite form lists all the activities that a co-owner or reviewer is authorized to do. You can personalize the message if you like, then when you're ready, just hit the send invitation button. You'll need to repeat this process for each invitation. Once you've added members, you can change their roles or remove them as needed here on the Manage Members page, which is available from the Community menu. Now that you've created a new project and invited users, let's take a look at the other items in the Project menu. To manage an existing project, click on the Project tab in the upper right-hand corner and then select Manage Projects. The Projects page will show you an overview of your projects, including language pair, category, quality score using the blue metric, deployment status, and the last modified date. If you wish, you can delete a project by clicking on the Remove Project link. Click the project name to view more information about a specific project. The Project Details page will show you more information about training runs associated with this project. For instance, if it was successful or not, the blue score as a quality metric, number of aligned sentences for training, tuning, and testing, monolingual sentence count, and whether or not that training used the Microsoft model. You can click on any individual training for more details about that specific training. Microsoft Translator Hub might not yet support the language you'd like to use in your project. However, you can request a new language for your project. From the Project menu or the Create New Project page, select Request New Language. Fill in the form, giving us the name of the language, as well as additional information such as regions where it is used, dialects, etc. Then click the Submit button. You'll receive an email from Microsoft verifying your request for a new language. This concludes this video. For additional information, check out the other videos in our Help section, as well as the in-depth documentation on the site.